Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to discuss the question maximum sum subrectangular matrix in a two-dimensional matrix. So the question is you're given a two-dimensional matrix and you have to find a subrectangular matrix which has a maximum sum. So if you have this two-dimensional matrix for this subrectangular matrix the sum is 3 plus 1 4 plus 0 4 plus 3 7. For this rectangle the sum is 2 plus 1 3 plus 6 9. So our question is to find a rectangular rectangle in this two-dimensional matrix which has a maximum sum. So we will use dynamic programming to solve this question. Before proceeding I'm assuming that our viewers are uh, aware of the Cadenz algorithm which is used to find the maximum sum subarray in a given array. For example if I am given an array minus 1, 3, minus 2, 5, minus 6 and 1 the maximum sum subarray here will be this. So 3 minus 2, 1 plus 5, 6. This can be found in O of n time using Cadenz algorithm. So let's, let's go back to our original question and let's see how we'll use Cadenz algorithm to solve this problem. So we'll have a one dimensional array. The length of this array will be same as the total number of rows in my two dimensional matrix. So the length of this array is 4. Then I'll have two variables left and right. Left and right will move on the column and we'll, what we'll do is we'll keep the sum from left to right for each row, put that in this uh, array temporary and then apply Cadence algorithm to find the maximum sum sub array in this uh, temporary array and that will help us find the maximum sum rectangle. So also I have this other four five variables which is going to store the maximum sum we have found till now and these are the left, right, up and down bound of the rectangle which has a maximum sum. Also, uh, I want to point out that this two-dimensional matrix should have at least one positive number for this algorithm to work. Let's see how this works. So initially my left is 0, my right is 0. So I'll just copy 2, 0, 2 and minus 3 in this temporary array. So 2, 0, 2, minus 3. Then I apply Cadenz algorithm on this array. So the maximum sum will be 5 which will go into the current sum. The start of that sum is 0, the end is 2. Now since current sum is greater than maximum sum, initially our maximum sum will be a very small number. So current sum, so maximum sum becomes 5. Maximum left will be the current left, so that's 0. Maximum right will be current right, so that's again 0. Maximum up will be the start point of a subarray so that's zero, 0 and maximum down will be the end point of the maximum sum subarray so that's 2 all right so we have found current maximum sum 5 till now now what we'll do is we'll increment right by 1 so right becomes 1 so now what we'll do is we'll add this particular elements of this particular column into this uh, here so we'll add 1 to 2 so this becomes 3 then we'll add 6 to 0, so this becomes 6. Then we'll add minus 2 to 2, so this becomes 0. And then finally we'll add 3 to minus 3, so this becomes 0. So now, the max. then we apply Cadence algorithm. So, so the maximum sub, sum subarray here will be of uh, sum 9. It starts from 0 and it ends at 1. Now current sum is greater than the max sum, so max sum becomes 9. My max left is left, so that's 0. My max right is right, so that's 1. My max up is the start of the maximum sub sub array, so that's 0. And my max down is 1. All right, let's increment the right by one more. So right becomes 2. So right comes here. So then we are going to add this to these numbers here. So 3 minus 3, so this becomes 0. 6 plus 3, so this becomes 9. Minus 1 plus 0, so this becomes minus 1. And 1 plus 1, so this becomes 1. So the maximum sum sub area using Cadiz algorithm will be 9. So current sum becomes 9. 9 is not greater than what we have already found till now, which is 9. So we'll do nothing and we'll increment right by one more. So right becomes 3. 
let's add minus 4 to 0. So this becomes minus 4. This becomes 13. 4 plus 9 is so 13. 4 minus 4 minus 1, so this becomes 3. And 0 and 1, so this stays 1. Now the maximum sub sub error here will be 13 plus 3, 16 plus 1, 17. So my current sum becomes 17. My current sum is greater than my max sum, so my max sum becomes 17. My max left is current left, so that's 0. My max right is a current right, so that's 3. My max up is the start of this maximum sum, sum sub array, so that's 1. And my max down is end of this sub array, so that's 3. All right, let's increment our right by one more. So right becomes 4. So we add 5 to minus 4, so this becomes 1. We add 1 to 13, so this becomes 14. We add minus 5 to 3, so this becomes minus 2. And then we add 3 to 1, so this becomes 4. Now the maximum sub sub error here will be 1 plus 14, 15, minus 2, 13 plus 4, 17. So our current sum becomes 17, and then 17 is not greater than what we have already found till now, so we will not touch anything. So we are done with one iteration. Now we change left to be 1 and reset right to again be 1. So left becomes 1, right becomes 1 and then we reset these numbers to be 0. Alright, so now since this is first time we are looking at this particular iteration, we'll just copy this uh, first column in here. So 1, 6, minus 2, and 3. So the maximum sum here will be 6 plus 1, 7 minus 2, 5 plus 3, 8. So my current sum becomes 8. 8 is not greater than 17, so we touch nothing and we increment right by 1. So right becomes 2. So we add minus 3 here, so this becomes minus 2. We add 3 to 6, so this becomes 9. We add minus 1 here, so this becomes minus 3. And we add here, so this becomes 4. So the maximum sub sub error here will be 9 minus 3, 6 plus 4, 10. So my current sum becomes 10. My current sum is not greater than my maximum sum found till now, so we touch nothing. And then we increment our right by 1, so right becomes 3. So now I add minus 4 here, so this becomes minus 6. I add 4 to 9, so this becomes 13. I add 4 here, so this becomes uh, 1. And I add 0 to 4, so this stays as 4. So let's find the maximum sum. So 3 plus 1, 13 plus 1, 14 plus 4, 18. So my current sum is 18. Now my current sum is greater than the max sum, so my max sum becomes 18. My max left becomes my current left, so that's 1. My max right becomes current right, so that's 3. My max up is 1 and my max down is 3. So this is our new max rectangle. Let's increment right by one more, so right becomes 4. And let's quickly do it, so this becomes minus 1. This becomes uh, 14. This becomes minus 4 and this becomes uh, 7. So 14 minus 4 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17. So my current sum is 17, 17 is not greater than 18, so we do nothing. So now that right has reached the end, we'll again reset back here, and left becomes 2, right becomes 2, and we reset this to 0. So first thing we do is we copy this column here, so this becomes minus 3, this becomes 3, this becomes minus 1, and this becomes 1. So the maximum here is uh, 3, so this is not greater than uh, the maximum sum I have found till now, so we change nothing. So now my right becomes 2, uh, my right becomes, uh, my left is 2 and my right becomes 3. So this is uh, this becomes minus seven, minus four plus minus three, four plus three this becomes seven, four minus one so this becomes three, 
and 0 plus 1, so this stays as 1. So the sum, maximum sum here is 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 1, 11. So my uh, current sum becomes 11. 11 is not greater than 18, so we touch nothing and we increment right by one more. So right becomes 4 and right becomes 4. So this becomes uh, 5 minus 7 is minus 2. 8 plus, this becomes 8, 7 plus 1. This becomes minus 2 and this becomes uh, 4. Again, the maximum sum here is 10. 10 is not greater than 18, so we do nothing. So our left becomes 3 now. Our right resets to 3. And we'll again copy this here. So this becomes minus 4. This becomes uh, 4. This becomes 4. And this becomes 0. So the maximum sum here is 8. So my current sum becomes 8. 8 is not greater than 18, so we do nothing. So right becomes 4. We add it here, so this becomes 1. 4 plus 1, so this becomes 5. Minus 5 plus 4, so this becomes minus 1. And 0 plus 3, so this becomes 3. Maximum sum here is 5, 8, 7. So current sum becomes 7. Again, 7 is not greater than max sum found 4 still now, so we do nothing. So again, since uh, right has reached the end, we reset everything. So left becomes 4, right becomes 4. And we just copy here, right here. So 5, 1, minus 5, and 3. So the maximum sub here using current is 6. So my current sum becomes 6. 6 is not greater than max sum, so we change nothing. So finally our left has reached the end of the end of the column. So we are done with this algorithm. So the maximum sum we maximum sum sub rectangle we found had a sum 18. It starts from 1, it ends at 3, and it starts from 1 and it ends at 3. So this here is our maximum sum sub rectangle. The sum max sum here is 18. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 4, uh, 13. 13 plus 4, uh, uh, thir 13. 13 minus 2 is 11. 11 minus uh, 1 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 17. Uh, 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. 17 plus 1 is 18. 18 plus 0 is 18. So this here is our max sum sub rectangular in this two dimensional matrix. Let's analyze the time for this algorithm. The space complexity is pretty straightforward. The space complexity is O of rho, total number of rows in the two-dimensional matrix. The time complexity is, since our left, our right is going forward and then the left is moving by one, so that is taking column into column time. And then every time we are calculating a Cadence algorithm, so that is equal to the, uh, that, that time is uh, same as the row. So that's rho. So our time complexity for this algorithm will be O of column into column into rho. And our space complexity will be O of rho. If you want the code for this algorithm, it's linked in the description, description section of this video. Also, if you can check out my uh, GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki. And you could uh, follow me on uh, YouTube, youtube.com user Tushara2525. Thanks for watching this video.